welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel I am LaDonna J and today I have this very fall vampy look for you guys I got inspired from all types of looks off of Instagram so many people were doing the dark lip with a dark eye so I wanted to recreate some of those looks for you guys I didn't know what I wanted to do Prior to sitting down, I kind of just winged it, but I do like the way that the makeup turned out very nice and vampy, which is what I was going for. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. And until my next one, stay true, stay you, and stay positive. We're going to prime our lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer first. Now we're going to take some scotch tape to um, get a nice clean edge. So we're going to start with our transition color and we're going to use this one right here which is called Barista. This one. It's called Barista from Coastal Scents. This is going to be our transition color and I'm going to use a fluffy use a fluffy brush to blend this into my crease and this is just going to help the colors blend together also since reveal eyeshadow palette I'm going to go in and use this color and this color so this one and this one I'm going to mix them together and this is going to be my crease color take some of that black with an angled fluffy brush and we're just going to put this on the outer V as well. these two for my lid So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lash Line Stiletto just to line, put a thin line on my lash line just to hide the um, lash band when I put on the falsies. So this is just going to conceal the lash band. So I'm not doing a wing or anything like that. This is just to make the lash line darker and to hide the lash band. For mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Lash, Lash Extension. Just put a coat. For lashes, I'm going to use the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Dark Tone. And the lashes I'm using are um, Coco Lashes in 102. And they look just like this. Rimmel Eye Coal in the color Nude in my waterline. To prime my face, I'm going to use the number 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Base. So I'm going to use this just to prime my face. 
For foundation, I'm going to use my Mega Forever Ultra HD foundation. For concealer, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toast. Okay guys, so it got kind of noisy in my house, so I'm going to do a voiceover for you guys. So right now I'm just tapping out my fine lines with a beauty blender so that the concealer won't crease. And I'm just going to set that with a loose powder with a makeup wedge. And I'm going to set all the areas where I put my concealer, which is under my eye, my forehead, the center of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to go in with my MSF face powder in the color dark with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to wipe away that loose powder as well as set my face. So I'm just going to wipe all that away to give a nice color so it doesn't look like I have a whole bunch of white stuff under my face. So I'm just use the MSF to wipe it away. Then I'm going to go in with my Rich Mahogany to contour my face and to give my face a little bit more depth and structure and I'm also going to use it to contour my nose my forehead and under my jawbone then I'm going to go in with my Becca in the color opal highlighter this color you guys you can see my highlight from outer space like that's how gorgeous it is and I'm just going to use a fan brush to do that and then after that, I'm going to go in with the Coastal Sense Reveal Palette, those two burgundy shades, to smoke out my lower lash line to give it a little bit more smoky to match the top. And now for the star of my sh of the show, in my opinion, are the lips. So I'm just going to outline my lips using the NYX's lip liner in the color Toast. And then I'm going to go in and put on that LA Splash Liquid Lipstick. I'm, I do not know how to pronounce the name, but I will list all products down below in the description bar. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed And until my next one, I'll see you guys later.